Did you know that when you're chilling out with a bath bomb, the gas that's released by the fizzing is carbon dioxide? Here's how you can make your own bath bombs with six ingredients. First, you need a common kitchen ingredient, bicarbonate of soda, which is also known as sodium bicarbonate. This is made up of sodium, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. Sodium bicarbonate is also a weak alkali, so when it's mixed with an acid, it produces carbon dioxide. This reaction is why we use baking soda to help cakes rise, because the bubbling of the CO2 gas makes the cake expand and leaves behind delicious spongy pockets of air. We want this same bubbling CO2 reaction in our bath bombs, so next we need to add an acid. For this, we use citric acid in its powdered form. It's made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Next, add two to four drops of food colouring. You can chuck in a couple of different colours if you like. Don't add too much of the liquid here or the citric acid powder and the baking soda will start to dissolve and this will trigger the fizzing reaction. Add a few drops of an essential oil like lavender or even chocolate. My personal favourite is Freesia pear. We don't need to worry about this triggering the fizzing because it's an oil and the acid and alkali need water to start reacting. For a slight moisturising effect, add a teaspoon of something like coconut oil or shea butter. Next, spray some witch hazel and keep mixing. We need this to help the bath bombs stick together. You could just spray water instead, but witch hazel has the added perk of being a natural antiseptic. Again, be careful not to use too much liquid here or you'll trigger the reaction between the acid and the alkali. Once the mixture clumps together like wet sand, it's ready. Quickly start putting the mixture into a mould. The harder you pack the mixture, the more dense and durable a bath bomb you'll get. Tap the bath bomb out of its mould and then let it dry for at least an hour. Now your bath bomb is ready. Yay! <laughs> Go you! Well done! The citric acid and sodium bicarbonate rapidly dissolve when they hit the water and react vigorously to produce the fizzing carbon dioxide gas. The reaction also produces water and a salt called sodium dihydrogen citrate, which remains dissolved in the bath water solution. So the reaction between the acid and the alkali is actually endothermic, which means it takes heat away from its surrounding and as a result lowers the temperature of the water. It's a very small effect though, so you probably won't feel it. All three of the products, the bath bomb reaction, carbon dioxide, water and the salt, come from our two key ingredients, citric acid and bicarbonate of soda. The chemicals react with each other and some of their atoms group together in new ways to create these products. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment to let us know what other everyday things you'd like to learn how to do with a side of science. And if you can, please support us on Patreon so we can keep making more videos.